last week at a Tenino City Council meeting. Within a very short period of time of us seeing the news report, action was taken. Mayor Wayne Fernier responded to a King 5 investigation Western Washington police officer that revealed the city's newest cop, Christopher Backus, was previously fired in Tukwila for excessive force. Officer Backus was removed from patrol and placed on modified assignment. Tenino says it's tapped a Seattle law firm to look into what our reporting found that the city of Tukwila and Officer Backus struck a deal to keep his troubled past a secret. We have to get to the bottom of things. We have to look at our processes. We have to look at what the previous employer did and didn't do, and we have to make a decision based on facts. Last month, we showed how this 2018 Tukwila settlement agreement not only covered up Backus's firing, but also reversed and removed all disciplinary records from his personnel file. Disciplinary records that found Backus had a pattern of using or threatening to use his taser when it wasn't warranted, that he falsified police reports, that he wrongfully punched this man, Marquez Riddle, in the face when Marquez was 15 years old. And just to know how I felt in that moment. <sighs> After wiping back as his record clean, Tukwila paid the officer $75,000 to quietly resign. Hi, Christopher Backus, that brings us to this moment in Tonino, Hi, Christopher Backus, where five years later, Backus's police career found a second chance. There's a long road to get back into law enforcement. Congratulations. Welcome to Tenino. The Tenino mayor says when the city hired Bacchus last year, it followed state law and did a full background check. That background investigation included a criminal history check, psychiatric evaluation, and polygraph examination to determine truthfulness throughout the hiring process. It's unclear if Tenino knew about Bacchus' settlement or the findings of misconduct. When Mayor Wayne gets an email from King 5 or Russian state media or CNN, I'm not going to talk to them about personnel matters. He still hasn't responded to our questions. Taylor Muir from Rescue, King 5 News. We don't know what Officer Back is, is doing for the city while he's temporarily off patrol. He declined an interview and told us last month that he's not allowed to talk because of a confidentiality agreement.